Stupid man cast him CD with the one ear. Thank you, sir. Boop. So let's try hard. Exit Connor, the car boot. I'll come back. Uh, what's this? 7,000 views. Hey, Foster. Hi, Miley. Hee hee hee. Oh! Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Oh, my God. L Y L. Hee hee hee. Oh! 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 H. I guess it's the official channel, so it's fine. Just a new video. Hey, man. H. Hi, can I get a Fresca? We don't have that. Um, do you have Mellow Yellow? Is Seven Up okay? Sure. Let me guess. Girl problems? Good guess. What about you? Yeah. Mind if I ask what happened? Well, my name's Jake Evans. People where I'm from call me the highway man. Because I help people when they're in trouble. But this time it went bad. I was driving through the desert somewhere around Death Valley and I saw a young lady stranded on the side of the road with a flat tire. It was about 100 degrees outside, no services or anything, so I knew I had to get her out of there. I told her they'd call me the highway man and I'm here to help. So anyway, I asked her Duck. to go ahead and Duck. open the truck Duck. for me, which Duck. she did. Duck. 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 Value. And I got out the jack and the spare tire and set it down for her and told her that she should be good to go. At one point she asked if I could do it for her and I told her I felt bad but I was dealing with this kind of lower back issue and uh, just really shouldn't be doing any bending but um, you know I explained to her how to use the jack and how you put that little crank thing in the hole or whatever and then you just kind of twist it. She didn't really believe in herself. I'll see why, why this is funny, because if you have back pain, uh, explaining is a very nice thing to do. <laughs> but I told her, you know, I feel awful, but I've got that I situation and I just didn't want to push it. Unironically. But she was able to get it going and uh, I think that's one of the things that's so rewarding when you help people. It's that sense of accomplishment. It makes everything worthwhile. Anyway, we got the spare tire on there and tightened up the bolts and everything was looking pretty secure. So she thanked me for helping her out so much and then I just kind of rode off. That doesn't sound so bad. It sounds like you helped her out. Well, I only wish the story ended there. I was about 30 miles down the road, started looking for my phone in the passenger seat and I looked down and that's when I saw. What did you see, man? You took her keys? Yeah, I guess that maybe when I grabbed my keys, hers were right there, so it was an easy mistake. I guess I wasn't really thinking, and I just grabbed them both or something, I don't know, but totally sucks. Well, did you at least go back and give them to her? Well, I was already 40 minutes away, and I don't know what good that would have done anyway. If you give her the keys, then she could drive home. Well, yeah, I realize that now, but, um... Well, I mean, I'm sure someone came by and helped her out. You know, maybe hardwire her car or, or something, or, or maybe the cops came. Uh, I don't know, actually. Man, that really must have sucked for her. Sometimes the road is not your friend. Well, I better get back out there. More people to help. By the way, I didn't get your name. It's Billy. 
I'm working in the building next door. Nice to meet you, Jake. Nice to meet you too, Billy. And by the way, I don't go by Jake anymore. You can just call me the Highway Man. Okay, um, Highway Man? Are you paying for that guy's 7-Up? Um, I guess so. Hers were right there, so I just like <laughs> grabbed them both or something. I don't know. Totally sucks. Damn! It's Billy. I'm working in the building next door. Rivers belong where they can ramble. Much better than his cooking shows, I must say. Uh. 